T minus 10, nine. Main engine start. Five seconds, Watney. Hang on. See you in a few, Commander. Four, three, two, one. Remember that movie? That's Matt Damon, as his name hadn't changed. Played a botanist rocketing off the surface of Mars in the 2015 movie The Martian. Back here on Earth, six would be Mars astronauts returned yesterday from their own simulated mission to the Red Planet. The crew spent the last eight months on the remote slight slopes rather, of an active volcano on the big island of Hawaii. Don Daler shows us what their experience means for sending humans to Mars. Don, good morning. Good morning. This was the fifth time this NASA-backed research project sent people to live inside a dome. The goal is to see how they deal with the stress and isolation and figure out how to select the right mix of people for a lengthy Mars mission. Three. Two, one. Woo! The crew of four men and two women ended their mission with cheers, Hi. Oh my gosh. hugs, and a buffet of fresh fruit. A welcome change from the freeze-dried and canned food they mainly ate for the last eight months. For me, one of the things I missed from home uh, was Portuguese cooking. The project is known as the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas for short. University of Hawaii professor Kim Binstead, the principal investigator, says conflicts during lengthy space missions are inevitable. She hopes the research will provide NASA with insights on how to assemble crews that can remain cohesive despite those clashes. Having some variety is a good thing. In a sense, we're trying to put together a toolbox for Mars, and uh, if you have a toolbox, you don't fill it up with hammers, even if they are the best hammers in the solar system. Sensors track the crew's locations and the volume of their voices during arguments. And if they felt stressed, virtual reality devices allowed them to escape to a tropical beach. Unlike the Biosphere 2 experiments of the 1990s, where some participants were not on speaking terms by the end, Binstead said this group seemed to get along. They said earlier that they think they're going to be friends forever, so I'm pleased to see that. Crew members were able to communicate with loved ones during the study, but it was subject to a 20-minute delay each way. That's about how long it takes for a signal to get from Earth to Mars. Any time they ventured outside the dome, the crew put on mock spacesuits. The harsh volcanic landscape, about 8,200 feet up Mauna Loa, is similar to what astronauts will encounter on the Martian surface. We need to send humans out because it's important for the future of the species. I think it's actually really important to get off Earth. If you look back at the geological record, it is just full of mass extinctions. The next high seas mission is scheduled to begin in January. The members of that crew, which is still being finalized, will also spend eight months inside the dome. NASA wants to send humans to an asteroid by 2025 and to Mars sometime in the 2030s. I still can't believe that. It's amazing. It is. It's incredible. It's a while. Um, I think it's a while. Let me know how it too. goes. <laughs> yeah, let, me know how it yeah. goes. Yeah. let me know how it goes, John. Yeah. The Hawaii part doesn't And, and, and the question is, yeah. once you get there, can you come back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think, that, I think that's part of the deal. You have to be able to come back. Yeah. Thanks, Don. Sure.